We're now going to be discussing um, approximating discrete values as continuous. This is sometimes known as a continuity correction. Essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pretending that discrete values are continuous. This might be useful if you want to use the techniques that we are learning for continuous variables and we want to apply them to discrete variables. So let's say for example I had a variable of number of Kumquats in a store. Which is definitely, so that's my variable. So x is going to be the number of kumquats in the store. And I want to know what's the probability of having exactly 82 kumquats. So I take a look at my um, normal distribution curve. I find the area for 82. Bah, 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 and I find out that the probability is 0. And that doesn't really seem right. And I mean, if I do it for any number of kumquats, that's also going to be also going to be zero. So we need to fix something up. So we're going to do a correction to make it work. So how are we going to do a correction? What we're going to do is we're going to say so. Here's all. Here's like we'll say the possible number of kumquats in the store. And we're going to take our probability distribution curve. And we're going to kind of divide it up. And we're going to divide it up into columns like that. So what we have here, and this column is going to go from halfway between the two numbers. So that's 82, that's 83. So this column starts at... 82.5 and this is 83.5 and over here is 81.5 so then what we're going to say is we're going to say okay this column over here for example this column over here represents this whole area represents 83 and this one represents 82. So it's going to be a column centered on its number. <coughs> and so this is the 82, this is 83, this is 84, this is 85, this is 86. So what does that change? So what it tells us is that the... So if I had, if I want to know the discrete probability that x is equal to 82, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, that's the same thing, roughly, as the continuous probability of x being, so the x equals 82 is this column over here. So it's going to be the same thing as saying that x is between 81.5 and 82.5. And that's the that column. And that would be true for any one of them. If we had... Um, x equals 85, well, x equals 85 is going to be this column over here, which goes from 84.5 to 85.5. So that would be equal to the continuous probability that x is between 84.5 and 85.5. So let's have some examples. Well, first let's go through this. So here I want, we're going to, there's a lot of ways that we could be dealing with 85. So it doesn't have to only be equal, it could be less than, greater than, less than, or equal. And then, well, well it doesn't matter for continuous, it matters for discrete variables, or greater than or equal to. So let's say we want it to be less than 85. So if we want to be less than 85, let's look at the three numbers around 85. So is 84 less than 85? It is. So this column counts. Is 85 less than 85? It is not. And 86 is not less than 85 either. And I should have probably done one more. Does the 83 column count? It does. So for x is less than 85, we are going to be starting over here, which is 84.5. So it's going to be there or less. 
So when we, if we do the continuity correction, that's going to be the same thing as x is less than 84.5. Let's get rid of these. X has to be bigger than 85. So bigger than 85, does 84 count? It does not. Does 83 count? It does not. Does 85 count? It does not, because 85 is not bigger than 85. This one counts. And so essentially, that's our dividing line over there. And it's going to be 85.5 or more. So that's going to be the same as x is bigger than 85.5. Um, less than or equal to 85. Well, in that case, so let's do it again. So I'll do it in there. Is 84 less than or equal to 85? It is. Is 83 less than? It is. Is 85 less than or equal to 85? It is. And so actually that one has the same cutoff. But in this case it's going to be that or less. So that's going to be the same as x is less than 85.5. Another way of kind of writing this out, instead of drawing this whole chart every time, especially because I seem to be out of room here, so I'll kind of do it in the, in the next sheet. I could say, okay, let's look at the numbers around 85. So 84, 85, 86. And I'll do that kind of X and check things. So is 84 greater than or equal to 85? It is not. Is 85 greater than or equal to 85? It is. It is. So our dividing line is over here. And that tells us then that the probability of x being bigger than or equal to 85 is equal to the continuous probability that x is bigger than 84.5.